We're talking about faith today and what those who have gone before us can teach us about standing strong when we don't always see results in front of our eyes. The great men and women of faith listed in Hebrews 11, they were commended for their devotion to a God they could not see and did not always understand. We know from this chapter that faith means obedience to God, even when it doesn't make sense. Faith means building an ark when you have never seen rain. It's trusting God for a child when you know that your womb is closed. It means relinquishing to God what he asks you to give him and not demanding your own way. Faith means trusting God's character so that you don't fear his decisions. Faith is when you've lost everything and yet you know that you have the only one who matters. It's surrendering when you would rather fight. It's staying calm when the very core of your soul is racked with anxiety. Faith is humility when your ego wants to bust out and give someone a piece of your mind. You ever felt that way? <laughs> Faith knows that God will fight your battle for you. Faith accepts loss, pain, heartbreak, wounds and scars in quiet submission because you know that God promises laughter after the tears. We have assurance that he will heal all that is broken. It is the steadfast declaration of God's promise and the refusal to believe the enemy's lies. It speaks out loud what God has whispered in our spirit, even as our own mind taunts us to drop the dream. It'll never happen. When life has dealt us an unbearable blow, Faith becomes the anchor that steadies our soul. It is breathing deeply and refusing to faint. Faith understands that what God has given you, no man or demon can take. Faith knows that both promotion and demotion are from God alone. And therefore you will not cower with trepidation when your destiny hangs by a thread on any given day. Faith is sitting in silence, not talking, just listening to what he's saying. Faith sees the possibility and it hopes for the opportunity to show up with dignity where God calls you in your poverty to shine in his beauty. It compels you to walk on with passion, to rise above the depravity, to overcome the immorality, to rise to a place of immortality that we only find in Christ Jesus through faith, simple faith that we have become sealed and engrafted into a family of royalty and nothing, no thing will ever separate us from the unconditional love of our Father God. No, in all these things, the word says, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else, in all of creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. That is the faith that will stabilize your soul through the darkest storms of life. Faith pleases God and it will move his hand on your behalf with a vengeance, I might add. Through a life of faith, we will receive the most precious and beautiful words spoken from the very lips of God. Well done. Good and faithful.